We're at the NEC Classic Car Show on the Club Triumph Stand and I've got Kevin Hager here with his rather impressive Vincent Hurricane. A pretty rare car. How rare is the Hurricane and what's the story behind it? Right, they were built by the Vincent brothers in the early 80s. Um, they made 53 of them. Uh, they then sold the mould on to another person and I think they gradually went into uh, receivership or what have you, I don't know. But I, I know there are at least three others because three people have been here during the show and have said to me, yes, they know of another that's in, in the, you know, been on the road. Uh, so there's definitely another three. Um, I suspect there might be a few more, but in what condition, I, I don't really know. Okay, so this has got a GT6 engine, a straight six. Yeah, straight six. Some had a Spitfire engine. Yeah, they were. Was they the were majority bit... four cylinder or six? I would have said the majority was Spitfire. Right, four, so four cylinder, cylinder engines. Um, and this is this is a GT6 engine, a straight six. Uh, a, if it wasn't for COVID, I would have had the engine done because I'm going to convert it to a two liter Lucas PI fuel engine. But obviously with COVID. That, that a two litre, not a two and a half? No, a two litre. Okay. Uh, I've, I've got the metering units, that's all been reprogrammed for a two litre. And uh, I, so I hope to start that now in the new year. Machine, machine shop is back and running, so I'll get the engine out and take the block to them probably in the new year. And they'll machine the bores and the camshaft bearings and then I can reassemble it all. And hopefully be on the road, I don't know, March, April. Uh, and enjoy it. Uh, and and uh, how did you come to buy this car? What's the story behind you acquiring it? And did you buy it like this or did you build it? No, I, I, I built it uh, literally from scratch. So the, the Dona GT6, uh, I've, you basically got the chassis, obviously engine gearbox and running gear. I've taken everything apart completely. It's all been cleaned. I've replaced all the bearings, thrust washers. It's all new nuts and bolts. Um, I haven't done all of the leather work, but I've done quite a lot of the leather work. Uh, so apart from the actual final painting, I've done everything else on the car from, from scratch, basically. So I've learned to do a bit of leather work, which is interesting, apart from putting holes in your fingers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so everything else I've, I've done, um, I've, got, I've, got, I've got a lathe and a mill, so that's helped me doing bits and pieces. And is, the first time, is this the first time you've built a car up or have you restored lots of cars over oh, the No, I've not restored cars. I mean, it's been a hobby. I've had Triumph since the 1960s, so they've been my main... And what have, what have you had? What Triumph I've had... Uh, the nicest one I had was my first, which was the Triumph 1600, which I still reckon is the loveliest engine of Triumphs. Uh, I've had a few Heralds uh, and I've had a GT6, similar to the yellow one over there. Um, but I decided if I was going to build this car, the GT6 had to go, otherwise I was never going to do it. So that decision was made, I said in 210. And uh, yeah, 10 years later, I've eventually finished it, so quite pleased. And is there any kind of a register for these? Is there a Facebook there is a There is there is the Vincent Hurricane register. It's, 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 it's perhaps uh, sort of out of date a little bit now, because I think there's so few people that have got them. Um, certainly Jerry Vincent is still around, because I received an email from him a few months ago. Uh, so there are, are other, mem other people that are on the email list, but whether they are still So how many cars are known of? How many cars do you know I, of? I would think there's about 10 to 12. Right, okay. But and I this must surely be the nicest one. Well, my, I don't know, that's for others to judge, but... Uh, <laughs> it looks pretty special to me. I've seen one or two others in the past, um, and these tend to be done on a little bit of a budget, I guess. This doesn't look like it was done on a budget. It looks like it was done... No, you don't know, tell the wife. ...to make it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't tell the wives, <laughs> definitely not, no, it's always, it's always a secret. Right, well congratulations on having such a, a, a wonderful car, and something so, so different. So, uh, yeah, what, well what I've done, because it was Remembrance Sunday, on the side of the car you'll notice there's a little red and white badge. Yeah. And that's the emblems from the Polish 303 Battle of Britain squadron, and they flew hurricanes. Right. So I thought it was rather fitting, it's a hurricane, and um, what I've further done, my starter button in the dashboard is from a hurricane from the Second World War. Doesn't start a Merlin, but we can dream. I, I wonder how many of the, the, the people involved were called Vincent. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that might be. You, you need to change your name by default to Vincent <laughs> Hurricane. That'd be a great name. It's like a super sleuth. Yes, yeah. The name's probably. Hurricane, Vincent yeah, yeah, Hurricane. Probably. Okay, lovely chatting to you. Yeah, thank you for coming. Yeah. Hope you had a great weekend. Yeah, it's absolutely been brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks very much.